Okay, so real quick. We just need to talk about why Tommy Lauren sucks and she sucks a lot. So anyways, we want to discuss how she got very offended at the fact that Beyonce used uh, Black Panther uh, dancers in her video. Um, and I don't know. And, and just, you know, she just started making all kinds of accusations about her husband and disparaging remarks. It was very upsetting to see somebody act in such a manner. So, besides the fact that it's Black History Month, I'm so glad everybody was happy about the Super Bowl, but as an aside, it was Black History Month and she was referencing something from Black History. I understand that we shouldn't be celebrating those things. Besides that fact, um, everybody seems to be upset because the Black Panther Party has been uh, described as violent. So I kind of wanted to just, just go real quick into some of the reasons why the Black Panther Party is not as violent as everybody thought it was. One, the Black Panther Party was founded in response to the Ku Klux Klan. The Ku Klux Klan was founded uh, in 1882. The Black Panther Party was founded in 1966, almost a hundred years later. Uh, the Black Panther Party was a more active uh, response to the Klan. At that point in time, the Klan had killed currently 3,400 blacks. That's not including the cops, that's not including those blacks that got caught up in the system and that may or may not have did things and, and died at the hands of police officers or anything like that. We're talking about just specifically Klan people who killed people for no other reason than the fact that they had brown skin. 3,400 at that point. So yes, in 1966, the Black Panther Party was formed. I, on the other hand, will admit that they did promote violence, but I think we all have understood because we've all been at the point like during September 11th where somebody decides to kill thousands of your people, sometimes you respond uh, in kind. So if they want to hang you from trees, you might say, hey, before you hang me from a tree, I will push you back I'm not going to walk up onto that tree for you. So I don't really blame the Black Panther Party for what they said. Let's now go into what they did. So the Black Panther Party was only in effect till 1982, from 1966 to 1982. In 1982, they disbanded. 1982 is when I was born, so that was 30 years ago. The new Black Panther Party currently is not the Black Panther Party, thus they put the name new in front of it because it could not continue under the same name because they are not the same group, right? We all understand that? So, the original Black Panther Party did advocate not necessarily violence, but if somebody's knocking on your door saying, I want to kill you and rape all your children, it's fair to say, hey, I will punch you before I allow you to do that. That's what they advocated. Martin Luther King advocated sitting and praying. So as far as names and actual documented murders by the Black Panther Party, it amounted to two, one of which was in 1974, and it, it was not politically motivated. It was just a random murder by one of the members. And another one, which was uh, uh, Miss Newton, I believe. She was actually a member of the Black Panther Party, so they uh, killed one of their own. Um, so not very effective there. Um, and on top of that, I think in 1970, they did wound two officers in a shootout. Um, but that's it. They wounded two officers the entire time that they were in action. Just in case you might be feeling a little sorry for the officers that were wounded, um, there were five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 people within the Black Panther Party that the police killed during the time that they were in action. So really the only thing that you could really accuse the Black Panther Party of was losing because they didn't kill anybody except their own members and they lost more members than they than they claimed to kill. But you know, hey, to each his own, maybe that's why Martin Luther King's way worked a little bit better. Although I don't know how many people died in the course of that nonviolent protest. 
Um, so, let, let's go back. The Ku Klux Klan started in 1882, still currently active. You can go to kkk.com, of course they would have their own domain name, and uh, you can go online and you can join if you like, online. Um, they killed in uh, from 1882 for almost 100 years, they killed uh, 3,500 black people, and then in response, an organization uh, was spawned that said, please, stop killing us and we will stand up to you killing us. So that spirit is what Beyonce was bringing onto the Super Bowl field. We know that in 2015 alone, 776 blacks were killed by cops and 161 of them were unarmed. There were people who had nothing on them but a bag of Skittles and a sweatshirt, and they had to die for that reason. In this case, there are justices injustices similar to what was happening at the time that the Black Panther Party was started. So she was bringing that spirit onto the Super Bowl floor. She wasn't saying, I am Boko Haram and I would like to kill a hundred babies. She was saying, as you could see by the videos of, of, the, of the, the song, that please stop murdering people who look like me because they look like me. I don't really know why that would make somebody upset, but it would make me say that you suck. If you think that a victim standing up and saying, hey, I like who I am, stop trying to hurt me. If you think that that's racism, you suck. I would hope we all would not be involved in any type of victim shaming at all. But, you know, maybe now that there's some facts being introduced to this argument, we can all come and talk with some common sense. The Black Panther Party was just saying we will no longer sit down and just take what you're doing to us. And the evidence showed that the Black Panther Party failed to get anything done. So in essence, you could just be mad at Beyonce for backing up a party that actually didn't get anything done. They ended up be, d being dissolved, they killed their own members, they started embezzling money, and they lost more members, <laughs> by the way, of murder from the police than, than they claimed to have saved. I don't know. But the point is, the whole point of the organization was just self preservation and I think as Americans who drop bombs on every country who has a problem with us we would understand a little something about self-preservation or self-defense in this case.